Hazrat Zubair bin Wahab narrates that Hazrat Abu Zar radiyallahu anhu said, While I was going along the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the stony path of Madinah Munawwara, whereas Mount Ohud was in front of us, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, O Abu Zar, I submitted, O Allah's Apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, at your service. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, It does not delight me to own gold equal to the size of Ohud mountain. And there remains even a single dinar out of it with me after three nights except what I keep aside for redeeming debt. Otherwise, I will expend it on Allah's bondsman in this, this and this way, on the right and the left side and on the back side. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam continued walking and then said, Those who have got excessive wealth will own less virtues on the resurrection day, saves those who expend this, this and this way, is spent from the right, left and back side. But such people are just a few. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then said to me, Stay here until I come back to you. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then entered the darkness of the night till he disappeared. Later I heard a loud voice and I got alarmed lest the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam should have faced any accident. I intended to go to him, but I remembered his instruction for not leaving the place till he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam may come. So I did not leave my place until he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came back. I submitted, O Allah's Apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I heard a voice and got scared, but I remembered your instruction. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Did you hear it? I submitted, Yes. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Yes, he was Jibrail who came to me and said, Whoso of your ummah dies without associating any partner with Allah Jalla Jalaluhu has entered paradise. I submitted, though he has committed adultery and theft. He replied, though he has committed adultery and theft. Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number 6444.